I finally replaced the head gasket and fuel pump, and the car worked just fine. And you know what that means? Murder. He's gotta stop doing that. One of the very few times that I was uh, willing to um, pre-order a game uh, and it wasn't available on Steam, but it only came today. But for what I've seen, uh, at least visually, I like it a lot with what they've done. Of course, it still carries a lot of the marks that uh, the Pathfinder games have, but it also very much looks like uh, what Chaos Gate has done with their models. So it feels like playing a tabletop game. So that's nice. Everyone already wants to bang the Drew Carey. Fuck. We've watched my summer car before. Uh, quite the enjoyable game. And after the stream a few days ago where basically ridiculed for being Danish. Uh, next up we got Denmark. Yo! The little splooge splatter of Scandinavia. The most mocked people in the Nordic region. And got the statement that Finland not Finnish people, but Finland, the whole country, is basically Nordic jackass. In the occasion of that, um, let's watch more of my summer car by my stupid and how he has to now drive 6,000 kilometers in his car, which I have seen the short of him urging people to subscribe. Let's just say that he kind of shot himself in the foot in a good way. Ow! Ow! Ah! Ow! My legs! Oh my god, that hurt! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Hello again. Welcome back to Finland. A couple of months ago, I had a no good, very bad, terrible idea. I thought to myself, wouldn't it be fun if I made a YouTube short where for every subscriber it got, I'd drive 20 meters in this wonderful game, My Summer Car. The catch? The entire distance would be driven in this, the Satsuma. A car I assembled myself. But yep. Satsuma has a little problem. Every part time. in the engine has durability and can break. Every single one. And believe me, they do break. Of thought. Now this probably would have been a good idea if I didn't make one simple, crucial mistake. Underestimating just how many people like watching numbers go, go up. up. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Drukaris are, yeah, space elves who are... <sighs> Some of them have kind of deviated in the lore from their bad habits, but uh, yeah, they're rather bloody. I guess it's also one of the aspects that makes them hot. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Uh, away a little bit from <laughs> Warhammer 40k and back to the warp in real life, which is Finland. And so, on a fateful August day, I released that short. This is the story of why that was a terrible mistake. So, let us begin. But first, I recently caught an employee using Google Chrome. Oh no, this is exactly oh, how that went down. Okay, Jim, I'll put you down for your regular 22 hour shift. Wait a minute. Using Chrome? Fuck off, fuckos, because this video is sponsored by Opera GX, the most awesome web browser ever. Riz? Who the fuck wrote this? Do you want more from your. Hold on. Um, I have to admit. I think it was also mentioned in the Badger video, but let's be totally honest, those in our generation who were using words like swag, YOLO all the time, those were also pretty cringe. So yeah, I mean, what's worse, this or what we had back then? Your dainty shit web browser. Well, fear not, because GX Mods has got you covered. Typing on my keyboard these days has become far too peaceful. Introducing the Meow Keyboard Mod. I know that he interjects with a lot of memes in there, but holy shit. Listen, I can do the peck dance pretty easily, but I've never seen anybody trying to actually type words with the pecs. That is both impressive, but also very disgusting. The fart keyboard mod. Or maybe download my mod. Don't like my mod? Well, um, fuck you. If you don't like my mod, the GX store is filled with mods that will tickle your fancy. Did you think that was all, you naive manlet? Opera GX supports Chrome extensions like everyone's favorite Mr. Beast on every thumbnail across all of YouTube. Don't like YouTube? The sidebar allows you to go wherever you want. Twitch.tv, Discord.gg, TikTok.ctp, and everyone's favorite Tw uh, X. Skex. Do you like free games? Well, the GX Corner can set you up with the deal of a lifetime every five minutes. It also keeps you up to date with all of the important news. The fuck? What are you waiting for? Hold on. 
The Rocket League as Lightning McQueen fans confused by fully model rectal cap. Jesus. I shouldn't have read that. What are you waiting for? Download Opera GX today or I will find you and do terrible things to your foreskin. This isn't a joke. Michael. Okay, front Use facing the description and pin comments is still and thank creepy. you to Opera GX once again for sponsoring this video. Yikes. Um, anyway, with that, it was time to release the short. So I released the short. For every like it got, I'd drive one meter, and for every subscriber it got, I'd drive 20. My expectations weren't particularly high, so when the short became my best performing short, got over 300,000 likes and over 50,000 subscribers, I went... Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that translates to 1,507.6 kilometers. kilometers in this. Well, shit. Hold on, is this why he keeps on streaming all the time? I knew that he was doing that partially, uh, at least one of them that I kind of watched briefly uh, while commuting was a uh, charity stream. But holy shit. Okay, uh, that explains the... Uh, 6,000 kilometers. Just as a reference, okay, 6,000 kilometers is half the diameter of the planet. That's almost the distance that I have to travel when I have to visit my grandparents down in the equator. That's insane. I couldn't back out now. I said I was going to do it. So I guess it was time for a Martin Cito Pants classic. A really long live stream. So I spent a few days making some plans and preparations. And when the day came, okay, went live. Thursday, a good day to begin the longest drive of my life. I loaded the car up with the two most important items, beer and chips, and set off. Start O. The first lap around the lake would serve as a good warm up lap. I crossed over the train tracks. I drove past my idiot cousin. I got some supplies from home. A jerry can, a helmet, a jack stand, and some motor oil. I drove yeah, past grandma's yeah, house. Yeah, the wonderful yeah, smell of yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so donations come into play and they add more distance. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. The donations. So many donations. Now this is where it might be important to mention a small, tiny little detail. My team and I thought to ourselves, well, this stream is going to be great and all, but it's lacking a certain amount of interactivity. This right here is where we turned this bad idea into a fucking terrible one. We thought to ourselves, wouldn't it be funny if every donation that gets yeah. sent adds a bit of distance? 10 meters for every dollar, let's say. And then we thought to ourselves, hmm, <laughs> that's clearly not going to be enough distance. Let's add a multiplier. Are you fucking serious, mate? Hmm, yeah, this this one, yes, I got another great idea. With all that weighing on my mind, I had no choice but to keep driving. So I kept driving. I drove back over the train tracks, past the swamp, <laughs> past some lumber, onto the highway, off the highway, into town, onto the dirt track, past the dance pavilion, and before I knew it, lap one had been completed. Now, it's hard to sound relatable when complaining about a literal flood of money, but- Yeah, literally, DJ Khaled here, <laughs> suffering from success. But the distance was in fact increasing very, very fast. Or at least it should have been. The distance hadn't actually moved at all for the past 20 minutes. Yes, that's right. Shortly after the stream started, the code shit itself and died. Ah, uh, I think I know why. So, <laughs> the thing that he doesn't take into account is that when you become such a big YouTuber, you start getting a donation from all around the world. Imagine that for a little second, right? That <laughs> you're just listening to the donations coming in. And then there's a small little icon there that says KPW. You go like, what the hell is KPW? That's the Korean one from North Korea. <laughs> and just a smiling face and like an icon of Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Which, by the way, isn't he also a gamer? I'm pretty certain that we have Kim Jong-un gaming. Oh, uh, no, those are just manufactured. Oh, it's just pictures of him just <laughs> watching the <a> screen. <laughs> that would be so funny. 
the one the one sub from North Korea is Kim. Oh man, that will fuck the algorithm up. Ah! Why? Well, for the code to tell how much someone donated, we first had to convert their currency into US dollars. Yep, but for some I reason, the system we were using was missing some of the more obscure currencies. So when someone donated in fucking Cambodian Riel, the code was like, what the fuck is a Cambodian Riel? And died. <laughs> Python. Huh? Aside from the code shitting itself and the distance being negative for some reason, Thursday had been a success and the car was working great. Greetings from Minnesota. Hope the suffering is good. Soda! Totally In the other room, the monkeys had been furiously assaulting their keyboards and had finally got the code back up and running again. Oh, jeez. Oh, the code's up and running. The distance went up 300 kilometers. What? <laughs> it was in this moment, right here, that I realized I fucked up. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Anyway, I sleep. <laughs> Friday. Friday. Waking up, I checked my wonderful watch that I got from 100% legitimate means and did not steal from anyone at all. It read 10 a.m. Friday. A perfect day for driving everyone's favorite shitmobile, Satsuma. Satsuma. <laughs> ah, yes. Satsuma. A car that I built myself long ago. Not a huge surprise then that Satsuma, as it turns out, is the least reliable piece of shit ever put on four wheels. <laughs> Sometimes the oil is just black. The cooler pace being inside the radiator. All of my tires have gone flat. There's a small rodent living in the engine. The head gasket has exploded. The carburetor fell off. Now the car is very much on fire. The battery has gone flat. Again. Oh my god. All the body panels have mysteriously gone missing. The pistons are gone. Okay, I've sorted all that out. Time for a nice, relaxing drop. So yeah, this car sucks, and sooner or later it was gonna eat shit and die. And when it did, I'd have to figure out what went wrong and fix it myself. Anyway, with all that being said, it was Friday. A great day for driving, which is- I mean, one of the few positive aspects that you can have from a game like this is that if you're not driving in a completely modern car, you can have the satisfaction of now knowing uh, the intricacies of a classic one. Like if if there were a game like this for bikes, not motorcycles, but actual bikes, bicycles, I think that I would be like world champion in it. Oh my God, you want me to play my summer car? <laughs> you know what? I will do it for Finland. I will do it for Finland before Christmas. It's exactly what I did the entire day. I encountered Cousin. I overtook Cousin. I crashed my car into a rock. I crashed into a pile of lumber. And then a donation told me <laughs> to buckle my seatbelt. Let's move the wood. Buckle thy harness. You were warned. <laughs> well, you fucker. Fuck. In this crash, my windshield had made the regrettable decision of breaking into a million pieces. Which is unfortunate for me because a windshield offers protection from things such as high velocity bug. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only person capable of repairing my windshield is this guy, the local mechanic, and repairing it would take him several days. This is precisely why I brought a helmet with me, so if any bugs were about, I uh, wouldn't find their way into my eyeballs. And so, let's keep it moving back to the road. The rest of the driving on Friday was mostly uneventful, apart from when I crashed the car, and also when I crashed the car again, and when I drove over the train tracks. Oh yeah! Okay, what the hell is happening? How much was donated here? Um, uh, yeah, so what the fuck was that? That, my friends, is Idiot Tier. A 500 US dollar YouTube membership tier that adds 20 more kilometers. So when- What the f- <clears throat> Yeah, even my cat is like staring like, what the f*** is happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, yeah, you, you, you saw right. Some lovely gentleman pressed join, clicked idiot here, entered his bank details, more than likely got a call from the bank asking him what the fuck he's doing, yeah. and clicked purchase. It did this. Oh, there it is! Yeah. Here comes the money! And with that, the day was over. Sleepy time. Honk. Honk. Saturday. Yet another beautiful day in Finland. Now, let's have a look at the distance. Okay, we've done 87 kilometers. That's a pretty good pace. At this rate, we're gonna get there at, um, um, uh, uh, uh. I mean, technically speaking, it's not, uh, okay, it's a bit slow. But if you were to drive on a conventional highway, not a German highway, but just cool, normal highway, two hours, around 100 kilometers. Right, you could do that. Um, uh... Yes, that's right. In two hours, the distance had increased by 1,000 kilometers. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the Bugatti Chiron? The fastest car on earth? That car still wouldn't be able to keep up. Now, no, I have to disagree there. It's not the fastest in the world. As a avid Need for Speed player, I can tell you that the Koenigsegg is the faster one. I've been obsessed about three cars. At least, I'm not even a car lover. I've been obsessed about three cars in my life. The Aventador, uh, the Bugatti Veyron, which is all the way back in 2012, and also the Koenigsegg's uh, Agera, which got a new model in 2021, which is way faster than this. I'm pretty certain. Okay, let me see. Fastest car in the world. It is the Koenigsegg Jesco. Yup. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> I didn't mean to boast. It's just uh, that one of the few things that I know about cars. <laughs> now, yes, that's pretty bad, but surely the donations would calm down as time went on. Right? Right? Anyway, Saturday would bring about more challenges. The rally race. Driving on this road was now significantly more dangerous because of these guys. Their only goal is to go fast. Yeah, they do can't. not care if something's in their way. But I had a plan. Wait for one of the drivers to shoot past and try my best to follow him. Why? I waited for my moment. A car came barreling past and the chase was on. I can hit people. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Please tell me I didn't hit anyone. Well, shit. This guy right here is one lucky bloke. We're oh, if I killed him, he would have been in jail. That's true. I almost forgot. Fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's just upside down. Yeah. Once I'd finagled the car back onto its wheels, I continued driving. Please start. I'm begging you. Yes! Maybe trying to keep up with the car in front of me was a bad idea. <laughs> so how about instead, let's drive a bit more conservatively. Make sure I don't set the car. Fucking bruh. <laughs> the rest of the day, I spent driving, looking around for my ratchet set, my ratchet set, and losing bits of my car. I ended the night at the dance pavilion. Not for any particular reason, just because I wanted to see what was going on. Oh, wow. On. To be perfectly honest, not much. I like this guy's moves. <laughs> I made a bit of a scene and the security guard didn't really appreciate that, so uh, no, I'm not, I'm not coming over there. No, 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 no. Let's go home. Going home would take me past the repair shop. And while I was there, I figured that I should probably take a quick look at the car and see how it's doing. To make a long story short, it's not, doing not good. great. Car engines need oil. If you don't have oil, then the metal in the engine scrapes against the other metal in the engine and horrible, no good, very bad things happen. Oil is meant to be a slightly golden color. This one is but black. when I checked the dipstick, it was not in fact a golden color and in fact, pitch black, just black. <laughs> Running the car on this filthy oil had no doubt done a lot of damage to the engine, but that would be a problem for future Mart. Current Mart just replaced the oil and went home. Okay, that's rather ominous. I guess they were to remember something about the oil. <laughs> Sunday. We had completed a pretty decent 118 kilometers out of 2,600. 
things were looking progressively worse and worse and worse. Today, I was gonna try moving the sofa from my house into town so I could sleep there. How? The problem with that, however, is the sofa is far too big for little Satsuma. But I could do this. During my trip into town, I had to cross over the train tracks. In fact, for every lap I did around the map, I'd cross over them twice. Once here, and once over here. And every time I went over them, I prayed, I hoped, I begged that the train wasn't there to turn me into a fine, finished paste. Even worse, the stupid sofa I was holding was taking up half of my screen. And so, of course. Oh, nothing um, happened. Well, nice. never mind then. I guess all that worrying was all for- The train oh, is oh. here! No! Well. Young male. Shit. <laughs> dead in traffic accident. It's okay, I made some preparations before I started this stream. I have this bike. Arriving on scene, the car was looking a little worse for wear. The fuel tank had fallen out, my supplies were scattered all over the floor, and the sofa was nowhere to be seen. I had the couch, the couch is no longer here, so I got to fix it. Once everything was back on the car, I filled up the fuel tank with my jerry can and started her up. Pray to the Omnissiah. <laughs> yes! Driving the car, I quickly realized that one of the wheels was very much bent. So to fix this, I went back home and found the digging bar. So watch this. Yeah, the wheels bent slightly to the right. <laughs> Do that. That's a little better. Ooh, that's a lot better. And with the car fully repaired, I sleep. <laughs> Monday. The start of a brand new week, and more importantly, no more rally race. Today, I was gonna try drive as far as possible. And to prepare my mind and body for this task, I present to you, Chip Doritos. <laughs> And of course, once Chip was complete, Road. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh, no, and that was another one. one. A few more laps around the lake complete, and... Oh, what the fuck? Is that... Three... Three... Th uh, 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 <laughs> Jesus. Oh, aren't those the aliens that were shown in, um, not in court? Uh, well, at least they made national news. That was a stupid story this year. Everybody started freaking out about actual aliens, despite it having been a previous case. Like, it was all fake. Tuesday. Around this point, I was getting a bit sick of having to wear the helmet whenever I was driving. And chat was too. So I came up with an idea. Meet Flitari, the mechanic. Flitari is the only guy that can fix my windshield in the entire country of Finland. And doing so takes him several days, which in real life is a few- Yes, ex oh yeah, that's true, the Mexican parliament. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bloody hell. Mexico's controversial thousand-year-old alien bodies undergo lab test. Look at that thing. Bruh. <laughs> it was basically animal bones that they tried to put in there and try to shape it as was it like a tiny human being. Oh, this human being, no. Bipedal creature. Few hours. No good. So I offer the chat two options. Fix the windshield instantly, but in return drink an entire case of beer. Or do nothing and keep driving normally. Chat clearly and resoundingly Drinking. voted for drunk driving. I'm so proud. So, Fleetari fixed my windshield, I put back 20 beers in a row and hit the road. And you know what? I get it. It should be illegal to be having it this much fun behind the wheel. Do not drink and drive. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, 
Wow. The rest of Tuesday went pretty well, considering the circumstances. I managed to find the sofa that went missing after the train, the train incident, here. and it completed another solid day of driving. I was in town, so I figured why not have a meal and beer at the pub. And this is where I met my old nemesis. Oh, the guy he stole the, <laughs> stole the watch from. Okay. Uh, this guy. I don't know his name. Many moons ago, I beat him up and stole his watch. Turns out, he didn't appreciate that very much. Oh, oh shit, he's punching me. Whoa, he's powerful. Uh. <laughs> he got his ass kicked by <laughs> Finnish Thanos. I am inevitable. <laughs> yep. I got knocked out. I didn't realize at the time, but he also took his watch back. Where's my watch? <laughs> That fucking bastard. As the hours wore on, I got bored of driving like a conservative grandma. Ever since I found an entire bottle of nitrous Nos. sitting in the boot of my car, I have a lot of nitrous. I've been absolutely ripping it down the track. That was until, of course, I hit this bump a little too hard, oh, no. the car veered sharply off the road, and came to a stop at the hands of lumber. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> This very minor high-speed accident caused the head gasket to explode. I didn't realize this, however, so after a lot of troubleshooting, the car driving weirdly, the car not starting, and various other oh. silly happenings, I finally replaced the head gasket and fuel pump, and the car worked just fine. And you know what that means? Murder. He's gotta stop doing that. That guy who stole my watch? Oh god. He's gonna fucking get it. The FG division in the head, background. In, the in fact, I think I can bring a sledgehammer. Once I found the sledgehammer, I... Ah, uh, you bitch. Placed it near the dance pavilion. For safekeeping. With that done, back to the road. Clearly, I hadn't learned my lesson from the previous crash, and had still been absolutely sending it wherever I could. Oh no, you Which, idiot. of course, ended predictably. To get ourselves there! Fuck. Fuck. There goes the windshield again. again. The windshield was gone. Now this wouldn't be that big of a deal if I had my helmet. But I didn't. My helmet was in fact nowhere to be seen. Shit, where's my helmet? Presumably at some point- the <laughs> Yeah, you threw it out. Last few hours, it flew out of my car while I was driving. To prevent getting stung in the eye by a bug, I'd have to drive a lot slower than normal. <laughs> this is about where our comedy of errors begins. I arrived in town. No helmet. I checked the junkyard. No helmet. No helmet. I drove along the dirt track. No helmet. And then, the engine rat made its appearance. There's a rat in my car! Naturally, I just cranked up the radio and pretended the rat wasn't there. Arriving at the repair shop, I fixed the mangled suspension and replaced the alternator belt. But, the rodent remained. Well, uh, I didn't know what was causing the noise. I wonder how Finnish Ratatouille sounds like. I, I don't think it sounds that bad. So I just kept driving. Just a bit up the road, however, the radiator started doing this. Well, let's have another look at the engine. I correctly hypothesized that the cause of my engine rodent issue was the water pump being broken. Everything else was spinning properly, but the water pump wasn't. I also checked the oil. <laughs> The oil looked, um, bad. Now yeah. pay attention to this very bad black oil. Remember it. It will be important later. Okay. So, after a quick trip back to the repair shop, I could take the old water pump out and get a new- Hit it, D10. Never mind. It was oh, it's, it's weekend. Yes. Today was Saturday, and Fleetari's repair shop wouldn't be open until Monday. So I had to occupy myself until then. Fleetari owns this car. Now it may look cool, but this car kind of sucks major ass. Ah! Oh, no grip Since on the, the Satsuma road. was out of action, it was really all I had. Taking the car home was fine until I reached the dirt road. Oh my god, it's so bad. On dirt, this car has next to no grip, so I had to drive very slowly and carefully, making sure not to take any corners too fast or risk flying off the track. The grip was so bad that my speed was below 30 miles an hour. Oh my god, he's coming, he's coming on my ass. No, 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 he's not, he's not doing that. No, no, no. Uh, the rest of the drive was uneventful. I drove it home without dying. I only said some very suspicious sentences. One very Just. suspicious sentence. 
at home, I really didn't have much to do. So I went to get some food. All right, I'll be back. And had a good sauna. Now let's piss on it. Uh, mm. In the sauna, I pondered. Mm. You gonna make me act up. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm. Oh, wait a second. Saturday night. Saturday night parties. Dancing. At the dance pavilion. Wait a second. Vengeance. The watch guy. I knew just what I had to do. Oh, there he is. I prepared this earlier. He's an Avengers level threat. <laughs> Get bent. <laughs> yep. He knocked me out. Again. <laughs> I awoke on the bus stop bench in town. A whole 30 hours after the fight on Monday. Wow. Look, every cloud has a silver lining. Except, of course, nuclear mushroom clouds, which have a lining of strontium-90. Yep. This particular cloud silver lining was the fact that it was Monday, and Fleetaris would be open. I took the bike back to the muscle car, and the muscle car back to the repair shop. Finally, I could buy a new water pump. And what do you know? The car was fixed. Yep, completely fixed. Nothing else wrong with it whatsoever. Totally fixed. Running flawlessly, even. Black Without oil. perfect, 110% really fixed car, I continued on the search for the helmet. I checked around the bushes, some spots where I'd been off-road, and eventually ended up at the small dirt oval track thing. It was here, I just sort of gave up looking for the helmet, and drove around and around at low speed, wondering how on earth I got into this mess. Uh-oh. 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 She what happened? Gas. What happened? No. No. I'm not out of fuel. What happened? Oh, What shoot. happened? So how does he tow it? Oh no no, there's either the tractor from the first or second video that he can use there. Or just jump on that <laughs> little scooter again. The big one. The search of my helmet had landed me here. On a small dirt track, in the middle of broken nowhere. down, in the middle of nowhere. I checked the engine oil, and sure enough, it looked just like I'd left it. Black. Replacing the oil didn't help. The damage had already been done. With what I had on hand, there really wasn't much I could do. What had probably happened was a part broke, and the only way for me to get a new one was at the mechanic on the other side of the map. So, I started hypothesizing. Like, the engine might have just, like, seized, or, like, there's just too much gunk. The little gunk That's actually is the Yeah. It could have been many things, and really, I had no idea what. I still fiddled around a little bit, and in doing so, ran the battery down until it died. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> Shit. It looked like I was gonna have to tow the car all the way from here back to the repair shop. Oh. So, allow me to introduce to you the sewage truck. Oh. This truck has a powerful engine, is nice and heavy, and is great for towing things. Problem is, the truck is all the way over here at Grandma's house, just outside of walking distance. So instead, I walked over to the bus stop, and waited for the bus. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, there's the bus! There's the bus! Yes! Stop, stop, bus, stop, 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 bus, bus, bus! <sighs> Public transportation! Oh, the bus took me back to town, where I got in the van, took the van to the repair shop, got out of the van, got on the bike, took the bike to the truck, got off the bike, put the bike in the truck, gently, <laughs> um, and began the drive over to Satsuma. I was a bit rusty behind the wheel of this bad boy, so figuring out how everything worked was a bit of a process. But, once the truck was worked out, I got on the road, and began the drive. Getting to our destination, however, proved to be more difficult yeah. than expected. Oh my god, no, 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 French bread, <laughs> aka pain. <laughs> Try as I might, the bike just didn't have it in it to get the truck back up. Yeah. I already recorded the new Maxor yesterday 
but I'm waiting the 42 hours um, window to release it. So it'll come out on Sunday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Archimedes said, give me a motorbike long enough and a riverbed on which to place it and I shall flip the truck. Well, at least I had the bike. Everything's fucked. Everything's fucked right now. It's all fucked. None of this is good. It's all fucked. So, what was the plan? Well, it was getting dark and I was tired. So first things first, back home to sleep. Okay, now what? Gentlemen, allow me to introduce my savior, my hero, my messiah. Oh no, stop. The track. <laughs> the fork loader on the front would be my ticket to truck uprightness. And with my newfound enthusiasm, I set off. Several minutes of driving the slowest vehicle on earth later, I arrive. Okay, first things first, let's assess the situation. All right, the situation has been assessed. Let's get back in the tractor and- Off to a flying start. <laughs> Writing the tractor proved difficult, but we got there in the end. Okay, time for my master plan. Wedge the fork in between the ground and the truck and <laughs> Believe me, I tried, but the truck was well and truly bogged beyond saving. Uh-huh. So fuck it. I give up. You subtracted yes, to get I admitted your defeat. But really, the truck isn't essential. Satsuma is. To get Satsuma back to the repair shop, I plan to put it on the trailer and drive it back via the highway. The problem with that approach is using the fork loader at all. Just fucking get on the fucking trailer, you piece of shit. Making oh. matters worse, my fuel was getting lower and lower and lower. Oh no. Uh, Seven to having violent car sex with Satsuma later, it was finally on the trailer. Yes! Finally, things were looking up. On the highway, I listened to some sick beats to drown out the thoughts of running out of fuel. But man, the fuel. This appropriate music came on right as my fuel was at its very lowest. If I got stranded out here, that would be fucking miserable. The turn off to the town was in sight. It's gonna make it. It's gonna make it! But the fuel. It was so low, <laughs> the engine started hiccuping. We were so close. But then... We made it! Hooray! In town, I filled the thirsty, parched, dry tractor with its favorite drink of diesel. I also tried fiddling around a bit with the car, but nothing came of it. So back in the tractor and onto the repair shop. And would you believe it, right there by the side of the road, yeah. my helmet. Hey! Yes! I finally found my helmet. At long last, something good happened to me. But what are those lights? No. Ma. No, no, Ma. Move. What are you doing? No, move. Ma. Get back in the tractor. No, no, Mark. No! This game hates him. And also he really isn't helping himself. It's like you have so much experience of cars in the game never stopping. So why do you keep on stopping in the middle of the road? Uh, yeah. I'm not sure why I didn't just get back in the tractor and pull over, but, uh, yeah. Here we are. Getting Satsuma back into the trailer, predictably, sucked. But once it was in, yes, I could get back on the road and finally get the car back to the repair shop. And here we are. So, you'd think that was the end of it, right? We're at the repair shop, surely now we can just fix up the car and get back on the road. Nope. The pain didn't stop. It only got worse. First, I tried changing some of the easy to access parts. The distributor, the fuel pump, the fuel filter, and the spark plugs. Oh. Okay, Finally, what the hell? I have found my purpose. Vehicular destruction of my cousin's car. I am become Pinar, destroyer of car doors. <laughs> I 
I was about to say just that. He, he did it destroy my door. You just... God. So, let's <laughs> Cousin try again. Cousin <laughs> No dice. I fiddled with the alternator, took off the cylinder head, and replaced the head gasket. Still didn't work. Three whole hours of the car not working, and things were only looking worse. It wasn't a fuel problem, it wasn't a head gasket problem, it wasn't this, or that, or the other thing. Honestly, I was at a bit of a loss, and all the batteries I had on hand were flat. To get more, I'd have to go into town and buy some. Okay, I'm gonna go buy another battery. Naturally, the vehicle for that job was the van. I sped into town, arrived in town, put the batteries in the van, and sat back off for the repair shop when I did this. Oh no. Oh no. No, oh. no. Why? Why? Getting the van back upright proved difficult. Oh my god! <laughs> Please, oh. no! <laughs> Fucking hell. This is a fucking nightmare. This is a fucking nightmare. It won't end. <laughs> the worst part is, like, one would normally just enjoy the donation right there for the good entertaining content, but no, it's just adding more pain. I can't flip the car. Might be a car issue. Have you tried fixing it? Yes! Oh my god, sit! Back at the repair shop, I put everything together and tried starting the car up again. It didn't work. I tried another battery. It didn't work. I got a new rocker shaft. It didn't work. I took the fuel tank out. For some reason. That didn't work. I concluded that I had no idea what was wrong and that I probably needed to rebuild the engine. If I couldn't figure yeah, it out, maybe. surely replacing every single part would fix it. Right? Right? Oh, please. Well, I really had no other choice. So, I got to work. Onto pistons. I think the boot's not attached right. That's why the car's not starting, man. Why can't I figure this out? I'll replace literally all these parts. Yeah, there goes the gearbox. These pistons are fucked. It worked! Half an hour of rebuilding the engine later, the new parts were in, and it was back in the car. Wonderful. And so, I gave it a go. Let's give it a roll. And the battery was flat. <laughs> so I tried another. Also flat. Yeah. And another. Flat again. Yep. That's right. I had run every single battery on the map down to zero ah. charge. I tried charging a dead battery at the charger at home. Dead batteries can't be charged. I looked in Timo's shop. No batteries. He was sold out. The engine was fixed, but I couldn't start it. Just fuck. I searched far and wide for a single battery with a morsel of charge. Nothing. Five hours of the car being broken, and it was still fucking broken. Yeah, I get that frustration. All I could really do was just sit around, drink beer, and <laughs> wait for the shop to restock. Uh oh. It took ages. But finally. Finally! Oh my god, they're back. Batteries! Yes! I put a fresh one in, and. Alright. I'm fucking nervous. This better work. All right, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Gentlemen, after six hours of broken Satsuma, it finally worked. I actually thought it was happening a bit earlier, but no, it's at uh, 12 a.m. So in a bit less than a, than a couple of hours. And now was time for my dastardly plan. 
You see, the distance done stat counts distance by measuring the car's speedometer. Not the actual speed, but the speed the car thinks it's going. Yeah. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the dynamometer. Typically yeah. used to measure the power of a vehicle, I was going to use it to spin the tires as fast as physically possible. First gear, six... <laughs> Fucking mad lad! Oh wow, okay, he found a way of circumventing all of it. Bravo. Bravo. Kilometers an hour. Second gear, 100. Third gear, 150. Fourth gear, 226 kilometers an hour. The highest possible speed in the Satsuma. Now you might think, but this is cheating. And um, yes. yeah. <laughs> but cast your eyes to the distance left stat. Now, let me speed up the video. Do you notice anything alarming? Is there anything about this video that seems off? Yes. Mm -hmm. The distance left is still going up. This is where I finally realized I was truly doomed. Even at the highest possible speed, it still wasn't enough to outpace the ravenous viewers. And even better, a few minutes of running the car at its highest RPM later, the engine where the brakes not working. did this. Where are the brakes not working? Oh no. Oh no, 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 don't break my car. No, stop. Stop! Removing the engine once more, I found a... Uh, do we have a hole in the block? Yeah. <laughs> Giant hole in the engine block. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh God. And what do you know, the engine was ready for a test. Of course, now that I'd rebuilt the whole thing, all of the new parts were untuned. It's uh, not very powerful, so it ran like shit. Again. Well, fuck. And finally, after almost exactly eight hours of not having the car drive on the dirt track, we were back. 19 and a half hours on long streams like this tends to be very close to maximum pain. No. Around this time, it was about 4 a.m. <laughs> I hadn't seen sunlight in over eight hours, the donations and their annoying messages hadn't stopped for the entire stream, and my desire to sleep was incredibly intense. I this swear. This is where I start getting a bit delusional. Oh, that, that is pure pain. I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm, I'm already a narcoleptic, so holy shit. This is, this is a nightmare for me. And paranoid. What if someone finds out where I live? What if Chad isn't willingly giving me money, but I'm stealing it from them? I mean, why am I even here anyway? I don't deserve this. This whole thing is a mistake. I'm not supposed to be here. Someone else. Oh, you get your head back. Come on. Get your head back. Get your head back. I should probably be paying attention to the road. I'm just zoned out. It really didn't help that half the donation messages went something along the lines of, Ha ha. We are torturing you for our entertainment. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Yeah. It will never end. Yeah, not very nice. But I knew just the guy to take it all out on. Watch guy. Oh my god, the edit. <laughs> I won. I beat him up. Did I feel a sense of accomplishment? No. Did I feel a sense of satisfaction? Yes. No. No. Did I feel anything? Not really. No. <laughs> the only thing I really felt was pain. Lots and lots of pain. And where else to lay my feelings to rest than the blackjack table? I think it's time for a game of blackjack, gentlemen. And so I sat there, slowly losing my money, slowly losing my mind. I think... I think it was time to give up. Twenty and a half hours of my summer car later, I had driven 585 kilometers, and the distance had increased from 1500 to 6448 kilometers. Fuck.
So, that's it. That was the stream. I haven't touched my summer car since, <laughs> but Finland doesn't forget, and Finland never forgives. Until literally last every week. single thing I have done since then has had a flood of comments underneath it about the drive. Literally everywhere. Community posts, my second channel, Twitter, even my Instagram that I've never even mentioned once. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Oh, that's wild. Everywhere. Community posts, my second channel, Twitter, even my Instagram. I never had imagined <laughs> to see you today. <laughs> Where those two would be in the same picture. Wow. <laughs> that I've never even mentioned one single time. Beautiful. And occasionally in real life too. <laughs> so I guess I have <laughs> unfinished business. Now, this challenge would literally never end if I didn't change something. So I've changed something. Instead of the nations adding distance, they make playing the game a living hell. You horrible people can now fuck with the steering, accelerate and brake, add piss, and make me a violent alcoholic for a short period. All the proceeds from the big first stream will be going Aww. towards the Royal Children's Hospital Foundation. The so that's how he, s he made it into a charity stream. That's wonderful. Only thing that can still add distance is subscribers. So if you want to prolong my pain just a little bit more, subscribe and I'll drive one more meter. The next big stream will be in about a week. I'll drive for 24 hours and the proceeds, once again, will be donated to the Royal Children's <laughs> So join me in my future Finnish endeavors and mark my words, this distance will read zero. Dang. Eventually. It was painful to watch him suffer through all this, but it was entertaining. I've never tried to do like a a long stream like that. Perhaps if I find a game that is so captivating. Okay, well shit. If if I had streamed my gameplay of Baldur's Gate, then sure. Could have played for 24 hours. <laughs>